Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to ask uh, Honorable Zibora two questions. But before I ask the questions, Mr. Speaker, allow me to make this declaration. It Senator, is interesting. Senator Beth, Senator Beth, ask the question. It is interesting, Mr. Speaker, for a woman to bring a motion to against another woman, and it also to line up three women witnesses against another woman. The first question uh, in regards to video VKM09. Madam Zibora, you declared the county, uh, the, the governor's seat vacant. The question is, I know you are not speaking for IEBC anyway. But I want to ask, if you have been operating as a member of county assembly and with other members of county assembly, have you been uh, acting on a county that has no governor? Secondly, on the fire that was on your compound, did you say that the watchman was the one who was taking the video? Thank you. Senator Mungatana. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The clarification I was seeking, Mr. Speaker, is that um, maybe first I want to say it pains me as Senator for Tana River, and it pains this Senate indeed that we are where we are again on this matter. And we want to help the people of Meru. Sincerely, your video Senator was saying, ask, ask your the video, question. the video was saying that even if we return this matter, you will go for six times. So the question I wanted to ask is that, uh, is there a deeper problem in Meru and do you think that by sending away the governor, we shall resolve this problem on behalf of the people of Meru, or are we making the problem worse? Uh, just clarify my mind on that. I thank you, Mrs. Field. Uh, Madam Zipora, respond to the question. Thank you, honorable speaker and honorable members for those questions. And I will start with the first one. Although it's not a question, it was a comment, and I believe it was directed to me. About a woman uh, removing another woman from the office. I submit to this honorable Madam house. Madam Zipporah, yes. that was a comment. Respond to the question. Thank you. On, um, on the video, on, on the video, uh, that I found to and I said the, the position is vacant. I submitted here that in all those videos, again, I had a media interview of more than one hour. And because I said the videos are not dated, I could not be able to extract the videos and ex exactly get what, what I talked about. That's a just a small extract of 20 seconds. And I want to submit to this house, I must have raised very serious government, governance issues during that media interviews. And I cannot really remember under which context that one was said. And that is exactly why I said I should have, I could have been taken out of context. I again submit that I never said my watchman took the video. Indeed, the video was retrieved from the CCTV cameras from my home. I didn't say the videos were taken by the watchman. I submitted that the watchman had something fall because he was not far. And 
he went to check what and foreign and he found the fire that is that was my initial submission and i still insist that is the position then on the six times from honorable senator mungatana i would want to note that it is not about the many times that the governor of Meru is impeached. It is about fighting for good governance. It is about fighting for accountability. It is about fighting for delivery of services in Meru County. It is about, it is about someone taking responsibility for what so, uh, of uh, the position somebody is given. It is not about we chant. It is not about anything. I think that one shows the determination that we need a mayor county that is functional, a mayor county where services are being delivered, where the officers, uh, where the county government is, is serving the people of Meru. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Senator Kajwang Moses, and uh, thereafter, Senator Mutinda Tabith. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to be very direct and go to the exhibit that was submitted by the County Assembly. On page 353 of volume two, you took us there to illustrate or to demonstrate that the wage bill grew by 500 million Kenya shillings from 4.4 billion to 4.9 billion. My question is, did the assembly approve the 4.9 billion budget? Or was the 500 million excess expenditure over and above what the assembly approved? Number two, on page 375 of volume two, you have a schedule there showing the transfers that were made to the various entities. These entities include the Meru Investment and Development Corporation, the Meru County Revenue Board, the Meru Youth Service, and Meru Microfinance Corporation, which in your submission, you said the governor uh, violated the constitution by not appointing the chairs of the boards. At the same time, on page 375, we have the report of the Auditor General showing 699 million, close to 700 million Kenya shillings, was transferred to some of these uh, bodies. Did the assembly approve the 699 million transfer? And if the assembly did approve it, then what then would be the matter of saying that the boards were not effective due to the non-appointment? Finally, you took us to section 58 of the County Governments Act that talks about the CEO of the County Public Service Board. Now, I want to get your views on uh, section 56 and 57 of the same act. The head of the county public service is the county secretary. The county public service board works with the county secretary to ensure. Senator Kajwang, your time is up. Uh, Senator Mutinda. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, uh, Honorable Zipora, yes. clause four of the Meru County Revenue Board indicates that uh, there shall be an established board. Clause 6 talks about the composition of the board, and it further emphasizes that the act therefore requires the board to have a chair. So, since you're a member of the PAC, as you've stated before this house, did you have any opportunity to have audit query in regards to how funds were allocated or how funds uh, were approved? Uh, because we've seen that funds have been utilized. Putting in mind chapter uh, 229, six of the constitution says that an audit report shall confirm whether or not public money has been applied lawfully and in any ineffective way. Lastly, the second, after the second impeachment of the Meru governor, as the county assembly, what remedy did you put in place as the leaders and the MCAs of the assembly uh, to ensure that you sort the issues of Meru County once and for all. I proceed to respond to those questions before. Thank you, and Honorable Speaker. be mindful speak of the time. Uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker and Honorable Members. Indeed, the first question, 
the assembly approved the uh, the assembly approved the the funds whereas it is the work of the assembly of the county assembly to approve the funds whereas it is the the, the, the responsibility of the county assembly to approve the funds section 30 of the county government act mandates the governor of any county to be accountable for the management of and use of the county resources so i submit to this honorable house that the county assembly allocates and then the governor together with the county executive is to ensure prudent Rent is to be accountable for the management of the use of the county resources. It is not the responsibility of the county assembly to manage the resources. It is the work of the governor, ourselves, according to that section, together with the staff that the governor supervises. Two, about the Meru uh, county bonds that have not been operational because they were not constituted. I submit that the County Assembly of Meru through various communications from the crack of the County Assembly, continued communicating to the County Executive that they needed to submit documents to the County Assembly to enable the county assembly carry out its mandate, documents that were never received. Similarly, as I've seen, it is the work of the county executive to use the funds allocated well. On the issues, uh, the third question, honorable speaker and honorable members, it is on the CEO of the public service board and the, C, the, the county secretary. These two offices in county, in, in county public service, honorable speaker and honorable members, have distinct functions. They have distinct functions where the board is mandated to recruit, to interview, to recruit through interviews. And then after recruitment, it is the county secretary now who deploys who supervises and does the other. So the two have different distinct functions. Only that they work very closely. Then the other question from Senator Mutinda is still on the chairperson of the Boons. And I believe I have already submitted that it is the responsibility of the governor of Meru County and the other officers to ensure the bonds are constitutory, they are const legally constituted. It is not the duty of the county assembly of Meru. The remedy, the remedy about this issue the remedy about this issue, I've already submitted that the county assembly has really worked so hard to implore on the county executive to carry out their, uh, the mandate of the county executive in order to make even our work as the county assembly very easy. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Thank you. Honorable members, you've got, uh, you've got 12 minutes remaining. Uh,